Introduced Chinese salamanders have started breeding with the native Japanese giants, creating hybrids. When any Chinese or hybrid salamanders are found, they have to be removed from the river. Mr. Toshimoto keeps a collection of them back at the institute. Right, take a look at this. This was caught from a river just a few miles from here, but this one's a hybrid. So this doesn't get put back in the river, and this is why I can have a good look at it. This guy is nearly four foot long, and when they get this big with no natural predators, they're fearless. Now those descriptions I heard of the kappa, it sounded just like this composite animal, a mixture of different bits of different animals. And I mean, what is there that is like that? Well, I think this is it, the giant salamander. You've got the, the flat head, the wide mouth, long muscular body, complete with this powerful tail. And then, last but not least, you've got these limbs. is just like a fish with limbs. Now, if you saw one of these down in your local stream, I can fully understand you not wanting your child to go swimming there. Unlike most river monsters I encounter, which like deep, dark water, these salamanders live in small, crystal clear rivers. The kind of streams you would let your children play in. And watching them catch a fish, you can see how the idea came about that the kappa kills its victim by sucking out its soul. These voracious predators literally vacuum up their food. And if it doesn't kill you in its jaws, then a more sinister fate awaits you imprisoned alive in its stomach while you slowly dissolve. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.